Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys know, Glasgow is coming up tomorrow and I'm super excited for the game. I'm sure you guys are as well. Uh, I will be live streaming it here on YouTube, by the way. I want to mention that one more time because I mentioned it on Monday. I want to mention it again today, a day before the game. I will be live on YouTube to watch the game. So if you want to tune in, you're more than welcome to. But anyway, I thought what better way to get into the Glasgow mood than to rewatch one of the most iconic games in the history of football and one of the best matchups that these, teams, that these two teams have had in the past, what, like, I want to say 30 years. I mean, this game was insane. It's obviously going to be, you can tell by the title, the time that these two teams faced off in match week 33 in the 2016-17 season in April. Obviously, the 3-2 back and forth game where Messi, the iconic Messi holding up the shirt game in the celebration. I mean, this game was back and forth, one of the best games that I've ever seen. And I wanted to rewatch it because obviously, I mean, this game was just so entertaining. So we're going to rewatch it today. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any other games you guys want me to react to or rewatch, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really hyped to get into this video, so let's not drag the intro any further, and let's start watching some highlights. The iconic Santiago Bernabeu, these two teams were three points off each other, as you can see right there. Uh, this game had a lot of stakes. Real Madrid ended up winning the league anyway, but in, at the moment, this game was for basically all the marbles. Let's check out the lineup. Real Madrid with Keylor Navas in goal, Carvajal, Nacho, Ramos, and Marcelo in defense, Modric, Cruz, and Casemiro, of course, and then the BBC up top, Ronaldo, Benzema, Bale. I mean, that's one of the best Madrid teams that I've ever seen in my life. They were dominant that year, obviously won the double. Um, the captain shaking hands. And then we're going to see Barca's lineup. Ter Stegen in goal. Sergio Roberto Piqué, Umtiti Jordi Alba. Rakitic, Sergio Iniesta. And then we have Messi, Suarez, and Paco Alcácer. Paco Alcácer started that game for Barcelona. I, I don't know how many of you guys remember that. Because Neymar was injured. Paco Alcácer started the game. Crazy. But whatever. Ooh. That was a pen. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, look. That's the replay. That was a pen. Because I remember I watched these highlights like a year and a half back and I remember watching this clip and that's definitely a pen. Look, Ronaldo is known for diving a lot. That's a pen. That is definitely a pen. Umtiti hits him right in the calf. Yeah, that's, that was not, that he wasn't diving there. With VAR, that would be 100% a pen. Yeah, look, he hits him right there. Yeah, that is a pen. But it didn't get called, so sorry. Messi, bro, Messi was so good this game. Messi picks up the ball, 11th minute. Look at this, bro. He was so disgusting that day. Oh my god, bro. He had Casemiro on fucking skates that whole game. Casemiro could not do anything with him. Nothing. He, it's one of the best games I've ever seen Messi play in my entire life. One of the best games I've ever seen him play. Look at that. This peak at Clasico, isn't it? That's so dope. I remember these days, bro. Yellow card for Casemiro. The fact that he didn't get sent off this game is insane. Uh, I think Papa Perez put in a call to somebody and that's why he didn't get sent off. Because he was super aggressive this entire game. Actually, as a matter of fact, Casemiro never ever got sent off in his whole Real Madrid career, I'm pretty sure. And then he only started getting sent off when he went to Man United. Coincidence? I think not. Messi picks up the ball again. Look at this guy, bro. Look at this guy. Just insane. Rakitic should be making that better. Rakitic should be making a better run there. Should be making a better run. But Rakitic was insane this game. I mean, we all, like, the goal he scored, we're going to see it pretty soon. But we got a nasty goal in this game. Yeah, look at that shit, bro. Bro, he elbows the fuck out of him in the mouth. That is crazy. Look at that. Ooh. Bro, that shit's gotta hurt. Ronaldo, no. That's the vintage Ronaldo though, isn't it? Like when he gets it on the wing and then he cuts inside and he used like he like he bro. I remember so many Clásicos where Ronaldo had Pique on fucking skates, bro. Like Pique did not know how to defend Ronaldo well whatsoever. But then again, who does know how to like I mean but the only player that I've really seen shut down Ronaldo is actually cool. And Pika's obviously not a winger, not a fullback, sorry, so. But what a save from Ter Stegen. These games used to be so fucking aggressive, dude. Even Marcelo, even he got hurt by how hard he elbowed Messi. Gareth Bale, yeah, he should have hit that better. He should have hit that better. Oh my god, if he would have caught that, if he would have caught that a little bit better, oh my god, that would have been disgusting. Look at that. If he would have caught that, like, here comes the goal, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is this is the goal. Marcelo puts the ball in right now, and then, yeah, Ramos, and then Casemiro's there for the rebound. Not a great goal, but, you know, you take what you can get. But definitely not the best goal. 1-0, 29th minute. Let's see how Barca responded to this. My guess is pretty well, because we're going to see it right now. Look at this fucking guy, bro. This guy, bro. What a, that's one of Messi's most underrated goals of all time. Let's watch that one more time. And they're probably going to show the replay, but I want to watch that one more time. Look at this. Look how deep he picks up the wall and then he passes it. And then look at the pass from Rakitic, which is beautiful. And the fact that Suarez lets it go. And then look at... Nah, bro. That tight space dribbling is so gross, bro. Look at that. He had the ball on a string and then that finish is nasty, too. Nasty finish. 
One of the best, honestly, a super underrated Messi goal. Super underrated. What a goal. I, I like the teamwork of that goal was beautiful as well. The fact that Suarez has the ball goal and he knows that Messi's behind him in the pass from Rakitic. I mean, the whole goal was orchestrated perfectly. But beautiful, bro. Beautiful, beautiful goal. He was on a mission that day. He was on a mission that day. Look at Ronaldo. Look how mad he is, bro. Look how... <laughs> He's so mad. He's so mad. Modric. Oof. Modric is an underrated shot about him, bro. Modric is a very good shooter of the ball, especially from outside of the box. Very underrated. People don't really like think of that when they think of Luka Modric, but very good shot he has. I remember the goal he scored against Argentina in the World Cup in 2018 in the group stages. Oh my God, bro! I remember this one. How does he not get? How does he miss that so bad? Oh my God, bro! Oh my God! I don't know how Messi missed that. I really don't know how Messi missed that. I remember that. I, I, I remember I watched this live and I was how the fuck did he just miss that? He had a wide open net. Look at this. This angle is so much better. Oh my god, he scores that shit in his sleep. Second half started. This is like, this is where the game really got good. The second half. Tony Cross. No, Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen was actually really good that game. Oof, what a save from Ter Stegen. Look at that save, bro. Bro, Ter Stegen was disgusting this day. He was on one. Look at that. He just jumps in the air and then... Oh, look at this. Mm, fucking Paco Alcácer, bro. I still don't know how he missed that. Look at this. Actually, they were replaying it already, but look at this. Just chip it over him. Just chip it over him. Oh, my God, Paco Alcácer, bro. You could have had your name in history. You could have had your name in history, bro. What a pass from Rakitic too. What a great pass from Rakitic. Let's watch that one more time. That pass doesn't get nearly the appreciation that it deserves. Look at this. He just boop. He just like toe taps it to him. Just a little, a little toe tap. Ooh. Pique. Oh my God, I remember this. Bro, Keiro Navas and Ter Stegen put on a show that day. Like Keiro Navas conceded three, but none of them were his fault, honestly. Like they were all great finishes, but that's safe, bro. I forget how good Keiro Navas was. He was so good. Pique. Fucking Pique, bro. Loki, I miss him. I Loki miss Pique at Barca. Oh, this is the one. Yep. This is the one. Oh my god. I cannot believe he missed that. Yeah, people forget that about this game. Ronaldo missed a wide open top in, which he usually doesn't do. I mean, he's very good at top ins. And I'm not saying that as an insult, by the way. He is very good at top ins. But this, man, I mean, I think he just leans his body too far back. Now, I'm not in a place to give one of the greatest goal scorers in the history of the game like advice on how to shoot, but he does like, he doesn't catch it well at all. But he shanks it bad. Like, it's, I think, in that position, honestly, let's watch it one more time. I think it's honestly harder to miss than to make it. Honestly, I think it's harder to miss this. Because he's right there. I mean, if he just gets a little bit of a, 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 just anything on it that's going in. Because Trish Hagen's positioning is terrible there. But he missed, so good for us. And then this fucking pass, bro. Oh my god. You know, this is one of the things that people don't really remember about Andres Iniesta because recency bias has fucking corrupted people's minds about football. But look at this pass from Iniesta. In this game, by the way, he was so good this game. Look at this pass from Iniesta. That is almost an exact replica in the same goal, basically the same area of Luka Modric's pass to Rodrigo against Chelsea. You guys remember that pass? The Trevella pass? It's basically the same. It's literally on the same net, on the same side of the goal of the stadium. And then the pass is basically identical. Let's watch it one more time. Look at this pass. It's so underrated by him. And the, like how Luis Suarez doesn't finish that is crazy, but... Bro, and that save is insane, but that pass from Andres Iniesta is crazy how he finds him like that. What a save from Ter Stegen. Not from Ter Stegen, from Kilo Navas, by the way, but that pass, look at that pass. That angle is beautiful. Oh my god, bro. Andres Iniesta. So disgusting. Asensio. Bro, Asensio, as a Barca fan who constantly roots against Real Madrid, whether it's in the Champions League or in La Liga or whatever, Asensio always scared the shit out of me when he came off the bench for this team. He was such a spark plug off the bench. He just came in. And every time he had the ball on that right wing, you just like you knew who was gonna cut inside and do something. And he always had a great shot on him. But Asensio was such an underrated and great player. People don't like. I, I, oh, look at this goal! Oh my god, I'm talking about Asensio, and then I miss. Oh my god, bro! Fuck Asensio! Look at this shit, bro! Ivan Rakitic, the most underrated player of all time. This guy, look at that goal. That's unsavable, bro. That is perfect. The way he cuts inside and then finds the corner is insane, bro. Look at that. Ooh. Ivan Rakitic, take a fucking bow, bro. 
One of the most beautiful goals I've ever seen. Look at that. Boom. Bang. In the corner. Beautiful. This guy, bro. He was so good. For like a long time, too. And people just forget that. But he was one of the cattle... One of the... Like, one of the... Like... The main pieces of that midfield for such a long time in Barcelona. Ooh. Ooh. We've seen that before. We've seen that before. Basically, in every single other Clásico in history. Ramos, hard challenge on Messi. Gets sent off. Wow, that, that, that's, dude, I mean, two-footed like that. What, what, what is he thinking? And the worst part is, he complains after, too. But I don't even think, let's look at it one more time. Let, let's, let's see. He doesn't really connect with Messi's, like, leg that much. But if he connects, he's breaking that. He's snapping his leg in half. With the amount of momentum and speed that he came in, two-footed tackle... Bro, he would break it like a celery stick. Oh my god, bro. And then he touches the ref, too. What is he complaining about? And then he's clapping. I actually watched a little clip of, like, someone did a, a lip reading of this, like, of the whole game. And apparently he was clapping, and he was talking to Piquet because Piquet kept complaining the whole game. And he was clapping, he was, he, Ramos was clapping and saying, and pointing at Javier Tebas, who was in the game, and he was, who was obviously the president of La Liga. He was pointing at Javier Tebas and saying, Talk, you see, like, you got what you wanted, basically. That's what he was saying. But he was pointing at, uh, Sergio Ramos here is pointing at Javier Tebas, and he's doing it, like, in response to something that Piquet said. I'm pretty sure. Look at this. My God, bro. Kieran Ramos was on a fucking mission that day. Look at this save. Skato kept saving fucking everything, bro. Hamas. Bro, I totally forgot that Hamas was, like, basically part of this team because he rode the bench the whole time that Sidan was there, basically. But Hamas was still pretty good this time. And then this is obviously his goal. That's a very good run by Hamas, by the way, too. The pass from Marcelo is crazy good. But that run from Hamas, the way he comes around, look, he, like, he just... And Marcelo finds him perfect. That's a great goal. That is a great goal. Great pass from Marcelo. And that run from Hamas to come around... Great. Asensio. Ooh. Bro, he had Piquet stressed there. He had fucking Piquet stressed out right there. That was a good save. And then here it comes. This is the moment, bro. One of the greatest counterattacks in the history of football. Sergi Roberto. Look at this. Look at this. That pass from Busquets to break that line is extremely underrated. And then look at Sergi Roberto, bro. Dude, he just carried that ball so well. And then look at Messi. Just scam. Look at Messi right there. The way he just like knows exactly. And that pass. Ooh, and then that finish. Oh my god. Iconic, iconic, iconic. What a counterattack goal from Barcelona there. What a counterattack. And it's all basically thanks to Sergio Roberto. But that's a disgusting goal. Falta. I was pissed off, bro. Look how mad he is. Look how mad he is. He's like, one foul. I mean, he's right though. They should just like just foul him. Just grab him by the shirt. Literally, all you have to do was grab him by the shirt. And you would have been, it would have been a foul. And then you, you, you tie Obviously, like I said, this game didn't end up meaning anything because Real Madrid won the league anyway. But in that moment, bro, just follow him. Literally, just grab him by the shirt and follow him. And then Messi got the yell. He didn't give a fuck. Look at that run, bro. That run is insane. And then the pass, and then Sergio, Jordi Alba makes the run. Finds Messi. Boom. Well, guys, that is the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this with me. I mean, it was so it was so dope in my opinion. It brought me back so many great memories, and I hope that it did for you as well. If you're a Barca fan, then it did. If you're a Madrid fan, then absolutely not. I really hope that Clasico tomorrow ends up being the same way. A back and forth entertaining game, and Barca comes out on top. Uh, again, I'm going to be streaming the game here tomorrow, so if you're going to tune in for that, then you're more than welcome to. I look, I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, if you guys like this video, then please leave a like on it because it does help the channel a lot. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.